Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric rejects Carter's proposal, and a shocked Hope exits the building. Steffi tells her parents at Forrester that Hope is done. Ridge wonders if it could be a misunderstanding. Steffi wonders, is there a misunderstanding? I just walked in on her in lingerie on top of my spouse. She witnessed it with her own eyes. It's really crazy. Sure fired her, and she'll need her father's assistance. Steffi is sick of this. The Logans have been attacking their family for years. She can no longer collaborate with Hope, it's either her or me. Hope is pacing in the design office when Katie enters and inquires about her well-being. Katie wonders what occurred, and Hope responds, not really. Hope claims Steffi fired her. Katie calls this stupid. She's certain this won't stand. Hope is not so sure. Katie insists that once Ridge learns about this, everything will be fine, everything's going to be okay. Katie discovers Hope was on top of Finn when Steffi walks in and groans, oh, Hope. Hope claims it was all a mistake. She hadn't thought about Finn in that way in a long. Katie reflects that Steffi plainly doesn't believe her, but firing her is too drastic. It was obviously an accident. Katie promises she will do anything she can to assist Hope, who believes she must address the situation herself. Katie is confident Steffi will calm down and realize Finn was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They hug. Katie has a lunch date and tells Hope she loves her before leaving. More, Life in Pictures Heather Tom's son, Zane Carter expresses gratitude to Eric for meeting him in a cafe. Eric believes this is about his ideas for Forrester creations. He gave him much to think about. Eric considers it a daunting dream. Carter insists they are completely capable of carrying out his strategy. He only hopes he understands how committed he is to Forrester. They establish mutual regard. Eric then informs Carter that his plan for the company is concerning. Carter admits that change can be difficult, but he is confident that it is what Forrester needs. Carter informs Eric that he has his eye on numerous low-risk companies that might be an excellent fit. Eric claims none of this is low-risk to him. Carter chuckles, and Eric wonders where they'll get the money. Would they have to take out loans? Carter says, yes. Eric stands. His company has never had any debt. You want to risk it everything. You want to jeopardize Forrester's entire image and everything we've accomplished just to make some more money? He believes that all of this obscures the true nature of Forrester creations. Ridge notices Steffi's frustration in the main office. Taylor believes this extends beyond frustration. This is inappropriate behavior that reminds her of Brooke, and it must have repercussions. As Hope enters, she declares that it is utterly unacceptable. Steffi tells her that they're done with her excuses. Hope claims it's a simple misunderstanding. She had no idea Finn was going to be there today. She respects Steffi and her marriage. Steffi says she spoke with her father, and he agrees, you're done, Hope. Gone from Forrester Creations. Hope claims she was not trying to seduce Finn. Steffi responds that she was trying to seduce someone and asks Hope to give her a name. Hope insists that she had no idea Finn would be there today. How could she have known she'd forget something at home? Taylor claims Steffi saw her in lingerie on top of Finn. Hope describes herself as a klutz. Steffi thinks this sounds like rubbish, which it is. Shame on you. Shame on you for placing Finn in that situation. She has lost the right to come there every day, and they are no longer funding hope for the future. You are a fraud. You are a fraud. You're just another slut from the valley. She orders her to go right now. Hope calls this outrageous. She tells Steffi that she cannot fire her. Steffi insists she can't. Her father is supporting her. Charlie comes, and Steffi instructs him to accompany Hope from the premises and confiscate her badge. Hope is no longer allowed to enter Forrester Creations. Hope begs, Steffi, you haven't thought this through. 
She goes to Ridge and tells him it's Steffi's insecurity speaking. I didn't do anything. Ridge says she has to leave, it's for the best. Hope begs. Ridge reiterates that she has to leave. More, BNB fans, criticize contrived narrative. At the cafe, Eric informs Carter that Forrester is a fashion house. He recognizes the effort required to pull everything together, but they must stay focused on their strengths and avoid getting in over their heads. Carter receives a text message and runs off. More, B&B set to repeat a disgusting storyline twist. At Forrester, Charlie says, let's go. Hope can't believe they're doing this. Charlie opens the door, and they enter the corridor, where the models are having a small birthday celebration. Hope informs the girls that she is being removed out of the building. She resents having grown up there. This is also part of her legacy. She and her mother worked together to establish this firm. Hope informs Steffi that her view of her is meaningless. I am proud to be a Logan, which your beloved grandmother Stephanie eventually accepted. Or did you forget? Ridge informs Hope it is time to leave. The models whisper as Charlie leads Hope to the elevator. Ridge and Steffi watch her enter. Steffi says, goodbye, Hope. The doors close. Ridge orders the models to return to work. Taylor admits that was difficult to watch, but it had to be done. Steffi claims Hope gave them no option. She appreciates her father's support. More, two twists send Bridge into perilous waters. Outside, Hope is relieved when Carter arrives. She cries, Steffi fired me. She finished my sentence. Nobody stopped her. They stated I needed to exit the building. Could you possibly get me out of here? Carter says he has her. It's going to be okay, right? She nods. Suddenly, they are kissing. Carter stares up at the Forrester Creations emblem and fumes, you're not getting away with this. Carter and Hope's big move, head to Jabot for global deal? The bold and the beautiful recap, Hope fired, Carter and Deacon Bond, Ridge blindsided is not going to have his pitch for the luxury business accepted. Carter discussed contacting Jabot about a fragrance contract. If Carter's proposal is rejected, may he accompany Hope Logan to Genoa City to negotiate a deal on their own? Keep reading and let's discuss the options. Walton's luxury pitch from the bold and the beautiful. According to BMB spoilers, Carter planned to make a large pitch to the staff at Forrester Creations. Right before the luxury pitch, Carter campaigned for Hope, urging the corporation to invest their efforts and money at HFTF. Carter also invited Ivy Forrester, Ashley Brewer, and Electra Forrester, Linnea Grace, to meet with Steffi about relaunching the jewelry line. Then Carter made a big presentation for the luxury brand concept. Rich Forrester, Eric Forrester, and Steffi all listened to Carter's pitch. They took it seriously, but the response was no. Unfortunately, Carter might not take it well. BNB Spoilers, Hope Logan's Romance Meanwhile, Carter is becoming romantically involved with Hope. Carter and Hope requested Brooke Logan to keep it a secret, particularly from Ridge. Brooke consented, but now Hope has been arrested on top of John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Hope was wearing lingerie for Carter, not Finn. Steffi moved forward, opening the door just as Hope was on top of Finn. Even though it's a major misunderstanding, Steffi isn't going to believe it. Hope might even inform Steffi that her lingerie act is for Carter. However, this could exacerbate the situation even further. The Bold and the Beautiful Recap, Steffi Forrester Finnegan's Bombshell The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers predict that Hope will undoubtedly lose her job. Carter may lose his job as well. If Hope and Carter are sacked, they are likely to make a significant move. When Carter made his luxury pitch, he advised contacting Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, at Jabot, to discuss a fragrance arrangement. Carter also volunteered to invest his personal money. So, it appears that Carter will make this happen, whether or not Forrester Creations is involved. BNB Spoilers, YNR Crossover? If Hope and Carter are both fired, will they take their luxurious notion elsewhere? Maybe Carter and Hope will decide to start their own brand. 
Carter and Hope are considering relocating to Genoa City. If Carter and Hope join the Young and the Restless, could Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, and Lauren Fenmore Baldwin, Tracy E. Bregman, follow suit? Is Carter Walton leaving the bold and the beautiful? Lawrence St. Victor has been a staple on the bold and the beautiful since Carter Walton's arrival in 2013. Carter is currently embroiled in some major drama at Forrester Creations, but reports are circulating that the character is leaving BNB. Continue reading to find out what is really going on. Why are the bold and the beautiful viewers convinced that Carter Walton is quitting the show? It all began earlier this year, when CBS announced the addition of Beyond the Gates, a new daytime drama, to the lineup in 2025. The bold and beautiful spoilers, is Lawrence St. Victor out? CBS new series Beyond the Gates will portray an affluent black family living in a gated enclave. So far, the new series cast includes some great African-American performers. Carter Walton leaves The Bold and the Beautiful. Lawrence St. Victor is rumored to be one of those actors, although no one has confirmed it. Even if Victor gets a role on Beyond the Gates, thanks to his CBS ties, that doesn't mean he can't do both series. Many actors and actresses work double duty and have recurring roles on multiple soap operas at the same time. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Carter Walton will be laid off shortly. Rumors suggest that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, intends to fire Carter and Hope Logan, Annika Noel. BNB spoilers, is Carter Walton done at Forrester? If Carter loses his position at Forrester Creations or quits on his own, it could indicate that the writers are planning to write the character off or send him out of town for a spell. If Carter's romance with Hope Logan fails, he may leave town to recover from another failed relationship. So far, there is no sign that this will happen. At Forrester Creations, emotions have risen as Steffi confronts her parents, Ridge and Taylor, about Hope. Steffi says, with scarcely veiled fury, that Hope's time at Forrester is finished. Ridge, attempting to make sense of the situation, proposes that it may all be a misunderstanding. But Steffi bursts, astounded by his innocence. A misunderstanding? I just walked in on her, dressed in lingerie, sprawled on top of my husband. Steffi's voice is filled with sorrow and betrayal. She is emphatic that she can no longer work with Hope, declaring with finality, it's either her or me. Her parents exchange apprehensive glances, aware that the Logan Forrester rivalry has just erupted into a new, furious chapter. Meanwhile, at the design office, Hope paces back and forth, her mind a jumble of bewilderment and frustration. Katie comes, sensing the tension, and asks if Hope is okay. Hope barely manages a nod, her voice full of astonishment. Katie scoffs at the silliness of, not really, Steffi fired me. This is ridiculous. It won't stand, she insists, telling Hope that Ridge will probably make things right. But Hope's faith in that outcome dwindles. The weight of the misunderstanding weighs on her, and she can't shake the thought that this could be the end of her time at Forrester. As Katie presses on, Hope reluctantly admits the mortifying detail, Steffi had strolled in while Hope was on top of Finn. Katie's face turns pale as she realizes the ramifications. Oh, Hope! She sighs, overwhelmed by the magnitude of the problem. Hope argues, claiming it was all an accident, a simple instance of bad timing. But Katie understands that Steffi's reaction is unlikely to change anytime soon. They embrace, and Katie promises to assist Hope through this, even as she reluctantly departs for a prior commitment. Carter has requested a meeting with Eric at a local cafe with high hopes for an ambitious idea that he believes has the potential to change Forrester creations. However, Eric remains suspicious. While he recognizes Carter's passion, he is concerned about the scope and risk of Carter's vision. They debate the possibility of acquiring smaller, low-risk enterprises, but Eric is unconvinced. We have never been in debt in our lives, Carter, Eric says firmly, his voice carrying the weight of Forrester's past. Do you want to gamble everything? What about the reputation we have built? Carter listens but holds firm, convinced that his vision is the future Forrester requires. Back at the main office, Ridge and Taylor listen as Steffi describes her interaction with Hope, 
her frustration boiling behind each syllable. Hope, visibly shaken, interrupts the conversation and tries to explain herself. She says it was all a mistake and that she never meant to disrespect Steffi's marriage. But Steffi is unwavering. I spoke with my father, she says, her voice chilly and firm. You are done, Hope. Gone from Forrester Creations. Hope's face contorts in surprise as she tries to reason with Steffi, saying that it's foolish to waste years of hard work for a single error. But Steffi is unyielding, her voice full of hate. Hope, you are a fraud. Just another valley slut. A stunned stillness permeates the room. Ridge, the voice of reason, silently nods in agreement, powerless to intervene. Charlie enters, summoned to carry out Steffi's decision. As he takes her badge, Hope begs, Steffi, please. You haven't thought this through, she says, but her words go unheard. Ridge quietly emphasizes that she has to leave. Hope, helpless and humiliated, is led through the building, each step highlighted by the whispers of bystanders. As she approaches a group of models, she bitterly announces that she is being forced to leave the company that she previously considered her legacy. I am a Logan, and I am proud to be a Logan, she declares forcefully, reminding them that even Stephanie, Steffi's late grandmother, had previously reconciled with her family. Ridge and Steffi stand motionless as the elevator doors close on her chapter at Forrester. Meanwhile, Eric and Carter's talk in the cafe continues. Eric is adamant that Forrester maintain true to its heritage. Carter receives a message and abruptly leaves the conversation. At the same time, Hope leaves the building, her emotions in turmoil. Carter approaches from the outside, his expression betraying wrath and concern. Hope, barely holding herself together, breaks down when she informs him of Steffi's decision. Could you please get me out of here? She pleaded. Without hesitation, Carter tells her that everything will be fine. They kiss, the conclusion of their passionate feelings for each other. Carter hardens his expression as he returns his gaze to the Forrester Creations logo. You're not getting away with this, he mutters under his breath, laying the groundwork for the next chapter of this complicated story. As Hope and Carter drive away, it becomes evident that the struggles within Forrester Creations have merely begun. The consequences of Steffi's extreme decision appear to be far-reaching, with the Logan-Forrester rivalry reigniting and new alliances developing in the most unexpected places. On Thursday's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, drama hits Forrester creations as the ramifications from Carter's ambitious luxury pitch and Hope's unexpected romantic connection cause seismic shifts in the family firm. Carter Walton, who is passionate about his vision for a new luxury brand within Forrester creations, pitches his idea to Ridge, Eric, and Steffi. Determined to take hope for the future, HFTF, to the next level, Carter lobbies for the corporation to make a big investment in his and Hope Logan's idea. Carter is confident that this endeavor would not only redefine HFTF, but will also position Forrester Creations as a leading luxury powerhouse. In addition to the luxury pitch, Carter surprises everyone by inviting Ivy Forrester and Electra Forrester to attend the conference and campaign for the relaunch of Forrester's jewelry line, feeling that the line might complement the luxury brand they envision. Carter anticipates a collaboration between Ivy's design expertise and Electra's unique ideas that has the potential to alter Forrester creations. Ridge, Eric, and Steffi are intrigued by Carter's ideas, but they eventually reject his plan due to financial worries and a departure from Forrester's core beliefs. Eric, who has always had a conservative approach to company investments, expresses his concern over Carter's idea pointing out that Forrester Creations has established its reputation on meticulous decisions and has never taken excessive risks. Despite Carter's confidence and assurances of success, his ambition to launch the premium line inside Forrester seemed doomed. Carter feels disillusioned and frustrated as a result of the rejection. He's worked hard to create this idea, viewing it as a potential for Forrester to join the competitive luxury market, but it's been ignored leaving him questioning his role in the firm. Despite the setback, Carter refuses to abandon his dream. He suggests that he may still find a way to bring his ideas to fruition, possibly outside of Forrester. Carter also proposed approaching Jabot Cosmetics about a potential fragrance partnership during his pitch. 
The inconspicuous mention could indicate that Carter, unfazed by Forrester's rejection, is exploring pitching his luxury brand to other corporations, even if it means leaving Forrester behind. Carter is also involved in a growing romance with Hope Logan, which adds to his turmoil. The two, who share a common ambition and passion for HFTF, have recently become close, facing both professional and personal challenges together. They chose to keep their connection quiet in order to avoid complicating their already complex family dynamics. Even Brooke Logan, who has always been protective of her daughter, consented to keep Hope's relationship with Carter a secret from Ridge, knowing that disclosing it now would only fuel the flames. However, things take a surprising turn when Steffi walks in on Hope in an uncomfortable position, mistaking her for trying to seduce her husband, Finn. Hope had dressed in lingerie for a special moment with Carter, not Finn, but her plan failed tragically. As Steffi comes across the event and misinterprets what she sees, she quickly concludes that Hope is attempting to undermine her marriage. Despite Hope's urgent attempts to explain that everything was a misunderstanding, Steffi refuses to accept her, believing that Hope has broken her trust. In a moment of rage and hurt, Steffi determines that Hope's presence at Forrester is no longer tolerable. Steffi's decision is rapid and decisive, she fires Hope on the spot, causing a significant shift in power dynamics at Forrester Creations. Steffi's hasty firing of Hope sends shockwaves through Forrester. As word spreads of Hope's firing, both staff and family members are astonished. Hope, distraught and humiliated, turns to Carter for consolation as she comes to terms with the fact that her career at Forrester has come to a sudden and terrible end. Carter, seeing the unfairness of the situation, feels forced to act. Carter, enraged by how Hope has been handled, considers his next move, including whether it is time for him to leave Forrester creations entirely. Meanwhile, Carter's remark of Jabot gains additional relevance. He recalls a previous plan to collaborate with Jack Abbott, CEO of Jabot Cosmetics, on a fragrance venture. With Forrester out of the picture, Carter sees an opportunity to pursue his idea on his own, potentially even with hope. Carter begins to consider relocating to Genoa City, which is home to Jabot. Moving to Genoa City would not only allow him and hope to escape the drama of Los Angeles, but it would also offer them with a new beginning and the opportunity to realize their luxury brand ambition. Speculation abounds about what a move to Genoa City would entail. If Carter and Hope decide to pursue their luxury company in collaboration with Jabot, it may result in a crossover between the bold and the beautiful and the young and the restless, intertwining the fortunes of characters from both shows. Carter and Hope might potentially partner with other fashion and cosmetics moguls in Genoa City, such as Sally Spectra, who has her own beauty industry ambitions, and Lauren Fenmore Baldwin and Summer Newman, both powerful business figures. Sally Spectra, who once had a turbulent relationship with Forrester Creations, may find common ground with Hope and Carter as they all attempt to establish themselves outside of the shadows of their old bosses. Lauren, a successful businesswoman with experience in the cosmetics market, might also help Carter and Hope build their new brand. The concept of a luxury fragrance and cosmetics brand supported by Jabot would be an exciting new enterprise, combining fashion, beauty, and drama in a way that might shake up the sector and generate intense competition for Forrester creations. Rich returns to Los Angeles and is caught off guard by the news of Hope's firing and Carter's possible departure. Ridge, unaware of Carter's mounting irritation and his secret infatuation with Hope, tries to make sense of the abrupt divide. Ridge has always regarded Carter as a devoted member of the Forrester team, but as he begins to put together the circumstances leading up to Hope's dismissal, he learns that there is more at stake than he previously thought. Ridge confronts Steffi, questioning the prudence of firing Hope and the potential consequences for Forrester creations. Steffi, on the other hand, holds firm in her choice, claiming that Hope's actions went too far and that allowing her to stay would just complicate matters. As the tension rises, Brooke intervenes, questioning Steffi's authority and speaking for her daughter. Brooke claims that firing Hope was a mistake and that Steffi acted based on personal bias rather than professional judgment. The showdown between Brooke and Steffi reignites long-standing family feuds, with both ladies vehemently defending their respective families and the right to protect Forrester creations. Ridge is caught in the middle, 
split between his allegiance to his daughter and his comprehension of Brooke's viewpoint. Meanwhile, Hope's father, Deacon Sharp, becomes Carter's surprise ally. Recognizing Carter's luxury brand concept, Deacon expresses his support, suggesting that he may assist fund the enterprise. Deacon's presence complicates the scenario because he has a history with Forrester Creations and a long-standing feud with Ridge. With Deacon's backing, Carter and Hope's concept to start a competing brand gathers traction, paving the way for a violent rivalry between Forrester Creations and Carter's new enterprise. Carter and Hope's audacious decision to launch a premium business funded by Deacon and maybe Jabot might put them directly in competition with Forrester Creations, calling into question everything they previously admired about their former employer. Carter and Hope feel a fresh sense of purpose and resolve as they prepare to leave Los Angeles and begin a new journey in Genoa City. They were underestimated and dismissed by the Foresters, but they are now eager to establish themselves on their own terms. The emerging story sets the stage for a series of intense showdowns, betrayals, and alliances that have the potential to transform the landscapes of both the bold and the beautiful and the young and restless. With Carter and Hope's departure from Forrester Creations, the Logan-Forrester rivalry reaches new heights, threatening to disrupt everyone's lives. The stakes have never been higher, and as the dust settles, it is evident that nothing will ever be the same.